What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, I want to show you a tool that basically allows you to run your own chat GPT interface at home locally that works with local models as well as the open AI API. So let us get right into it. All right, so the tool that I'm talking about is called the Olama Web UI. And I recently made a video about Olama itself. It's a command line tool that you can use to locally run large language models, things like Llama or Mixtral, for example. And this is now a web interface on top of that. And you can scroll down here in the GitHub repository. You will find a link in the description down below. Uh, to see what this actually looks like, at least I hope so. There you go. It basically looks like ChatGPT, but you can use it with your local models with Llama 2 with Mixtral, and you can also connect it to OpenAI with the OpenAI key. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the installation instructions. In my case, I already have it on the system, so I'm not going to install it again. But the installation is actually quite simple. You basically just have to install Docker, and then you have to run the Docker container and you need Olama installed. So uh, you can go to Olama AI, you can follow the instructions here. So uh, you have it currently for Mac and Linux and for Windows, you basically have to use the Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, but what you do is you basically just get Docker onto your system. So you download it from the Docker website if you're on Windows and Mac, you download it with the package manager if you're on Linux, and then you just install Olama and then you run Olama locally. And basically all you have to do is you have to run this command here. So Docker run and all of this here. Once you run this, you're going to have the Docker container uh, running on your system. In my case here, I have to just uh, run Docker desktop and I can just click on the on the container that I already have here once it's started. And then it's running locally, basically. And of course, you need to have the models installed. So in my case here, I have Olama list, you can see I have Llama 2, 13 billion, I have Llama 2 with the 7 billion, I have Llama 2 uncensored, Mistral and Mixtral. Uh, Mixtral is going to be a little bit hard because it has 26 gigabytes. So it's not really realistic to run it here locally. Um, but what you can see here now in my case is that Olama web UI is already running. And I can of course, pause it, I can or stop it, I can restart it, I can run it. But basically, you just need to run this command, uh, or actually this command here. Uh, and then you basically have Olama uh, with the web interface. And then what you can do is you can just open localhost 3000. And this is basically your web interface. You can see it looks exactly like ChatGPT. You can choose the model here. So let's go with Llama 2, for example, here's 7 billion parameters. Let's just say hello. Now, this is going to take some time the first time you ask a prompt because it's going to have to lo uh, load the model. It's basically the same as doing Olama run, run Llama 2. Um, but basically, we can say something like, uh, what is Python? And it says Python is a high level interpreted programming language. Okay, great. It's going to give me some information here. Uh, let's just ask, uh, when was it released? And there you go. So this is running Llama 2 here locally. Now I can start a new chat again with Llama 2. And I can also set the default here to be, or at least I think I can set the default to be, or can I not? I'm not sure if I can set the default to be something else. But <clears throat> I can definitely pull a model by just entering the name. So maybe I cannot actually. Not sure. But let's go again with Llama 2 because it's simple. And let's say something else. So for example, what is YouTube? And now we get a faster answer because it's already loaded. <clears throat> and we can ask it if it knows Neural9. Do you know the channel Neural9? Probably not. Oh, actually it doesn't know Neural9. Great, awesome. So this is the local model. Now what we can also do is we can go into uh, the settings here, and we can go to external. And what we have to do here is we just have to add the open AI key. And in my case here, I should have it uh, stored in the clipboard, I'm going to censor this here so that you can see it. 
But basically now uh, I en entered my open AI key, which you can get from the API, you just log in to go to API keys. And what I can do now here, since I provided my API keys, I can choose the GPT models. So for example, I can go with GPT four. Hello. And then I can say, tell me about the neural mine YouTube channel. And then basically it gives me the response from the uh, open AI API. Now keep in mind, of course, I'm paying for this now because I'm paying for the request. I'm sending a request to the open AI API with my key and to get the response I pay per token per input and per output token. Um, the creator behind a channel, okay, that's uh, made up. So <laughs> I don't know where it gets to this from. But you can see that this is basically a very convenient way to use your local models and to use if needed, uh, more powerful open AI models. And this is exactly what we talked about uh, in the video recently, where I said the chat GPT seems to be getting worse and worse. One of the solutions was to just use the API and maybe you're even cheaper, you, you get more for your money if you use the API because how often do you use ChatGPT? If you use it all the time, maybe the subscription is better. But it could also be the case that just using the API with a request per tokens is actually better for you. So um, this might be a good way to use ChatGPT and your local models depending on what you need. So maybe we can get some simple code here from Llama. Provide a tic tac toe game code in Python. Let's see if it's able to do that. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but it does something. So especially if you can get Mixtral to run on your system. So in my case, I think this is going to crash. I mean, we can try, but uh, if you can get Mixtral to run on your system, code a tic tac toe game in Python. I'm not sure. I think this will not work. <clears throat> Probably this is going to actually mess up my recording, if anything. Let's see. Doesn't even seem to allocate space. Not sure if this is going to work. But if you can get something like Mixer to work on your system, if you have enough uh, VRAM, if you have enough RAM and enough CPU power, uh, this is actually something that can be very powerful and you don't have to use OpenAI, you don't have to use GPT for simple tasks. So yeah, I think this is all in all a very good solution to run your own LLMs and to run your own interface if you just want to use the API instead of the subscription on your own system. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.